through the media. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Two things I have to tell you. One is that this is going to be an hour of power. Amen. 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 I didn't hear that. Amen. It's going to be an hour of power. Let me hear that again. An hour of power. Okay. Tonight, prayer meeting, an hour of power. And the other thing I have to tell you is behind these masks is a smile. Do you see? Just look at the person next to you and see them smile. You could see the smile in your eyes. 
can't you? All right, your eyes smile, but I'm assuring you behind the mask is a smile. Praise the Lord. Okay, welcome. Let's praise the Lord. sisters and brothers. All of us would be saved by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's call on the Holy Spirit to come and anoint us tonight as we begin this hour of power. Amen. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, come Let your fire fall. Let 
tonight thanking you yes, for your many wonderful deeds Amen. great are you O God yes, yes. great beyond compare yes, you are majestic in holiness Praise fearful in wonders Amen. indeed Lord your hand at work in our lives at work in this world doing Praise for us what we can do for ourselves what can separate us from your great love O God nothing Amen. absolutely nothing Amen. no virus no Praise struggle you. No joblessness, no fear, no anxiety, no worry about the future. Nothing, oh God, can separate us from that. Because for you, all things are possible. We stand in your holy presence. We stand here because you, Jesus, are risen from the dead. And because you live, we can live. We want to have life in you, new life in you, oh God. So continue to send us your Holy Spirit. But with your Spirit, we shall do bravely Amen. with you on our side fighting the good fight for us Lord we know that indeed nothing is impossible we bless you and we praise you God who is great who does mighty deeds who rolled back the waters separated the Red Sea and set his people free set us free O oh God to praise you in the midst of the storm set us free to thank you to bless you and to look towards you the God who is most high all powerful and almighty. Hallelujah. Great is your love, O oh God. Praise love without end. Amen. Majestic are you, Lord. Praise Lord. Yes, the world. Will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's
Just keep on to be, be with you. Just want to be with you, God. Just want to be with you. Yes, the world. Yes, the world. We we'll bow down. We we'll bow down and say you are king. Every man. Every man. We we'll bow down and say you are king. We we'll bow down.
touch from you, oh, oh. Lord, we need a touch from you. Yes, the world. Yes, the world. We'll bow down and say you are God. Every man, every man. We'll bow down. We'll bow down and say you are King. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? We should praise you now. We, we should, should praise you. Because we got the victory. In victory. King of glory. King of glory. Fill this place. Just want to be with you. We speak to our God in that beautiful gift of tongues, that gift of the Spirit. We sing to our God and with our God in that beautiful gift of tongues. And our God bends his ear and he listens to us. Join us as we sing and praise in tongues. And if you cannot pray in tongues, then just put a word of praise on your lips right now. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Jesus, we come into your presence this night. And Lord, we have sinned. We are a people who have sinned. We are individuals who have sinned. A community that has sinned. A country that has sinned. A world that has sinned. Each one of us, Lord, have played a part in the sin that we see present in our world. And we, Lord, we who know you as Christians, as Catholics, as people of prayer, Lord, we find ourselves exiled in a strange land, in a place and a space that we do not know, that we are not familiar with. And day and night, O oh Lord, we see ourselves, we experience ourselves, making our way in the darkness, O oh God, feeling our way in the darkness, and yet seeing you as the light at the end of the tunnel, seeing all the saints, the angels who have gone before us, we see that light ahead. And yet, Lord, still we walk in that darkness, Lord, of uncertainty and pain. And in this time of COVID, Lord, there's so much else that is going on. Untimely death, oh God, families in distress, accidents and sickness and all that is going on in the midst of that. And Lord, we who know you, who love you and who serve you and know that you are the King. Lord, we promise that we will praise you every day of our lives. We will praise you in the morning. We will praise you in the noontime. We will praise you in the nighttime. We will praise you when we sit or lie down, when we are asleep. We promise, O oh Lord, that we will praise you because we know that that is the only way out of this darkness. The only way out of this dark tunnel, O oh God, is when we put a word of praise on our lips, O oh God. We praise you with our minds, our bodies, our souls, our hands, our feet, our tongues, our lips, O oh God. We praise you and we invite everyone who joins us through the media tonight, wherever you are, every single person, we put a word of praise on our lips this night and we promise that we will, this will indeed be an hour of praise, O oh Lord. 
and in power, you will come to us, O Lord. And all those who are praying all over the world now, we know that there are many people who are praying. We join our prayers with them, O God. And we know that there is power in praise. And through that praise, O God, we will come out of this place, out of this space, and we will come into that land where there's all light and love and joy, and where you and the angels and the saints, the whole heavenly court, wait for us, O God. Lord, our prayer every day is that this time would come to an end. But Lord, you alone know. You alone have set the limit. And Lord, if it is not your will that we should come out of this time soon, then give each one of us the grace that we need, O Lord, to continue on this journey. All that we ask of you, O Lord, is give us that grace. Let your grace be enough for us in this time. We praise you, Lord, and exalt you in this place. Holy are you, O God, and worthy to be praised. We humble ourselves in your presence, Lord. by grace can we enter. Only by grace can we enter. Only by grace can we stand. Only by grace can we stand. Not by our human endeavor. Not by our human endeavor. But by the blood of the Lamb. But by the blood of the Lamb. Into your presence you call us. Into your presence you call us. You call us to come. You call us to come. Into your presence. Into your presence you draw. And now by your grace we come. And now by your grace we come. Now by your grace we come. And now by your grace we Mark our transgressions. Lord, if you mark our transgressions, who would stand? Who would stand? Thanks to your grace, we are cleansed. Thanks to your grace, we are cleansed by the blood, by of, the the blood of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, if you mark our who would stand? Thanks to your grace. Thanks to your grace, we are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Only by grace. Only by grace can we enter. Only by grace. Not by our human endeavor. Not by our human endeavor. But by the blood of the Lamb. But by the blood of the Lamb. Into your presence you call us. Into your presence you call us. You call us to come. You call us to come. Your presence you draw into your presence you draw us and now by your grace we and come. now by your grace we come now by your grace we Oh, Jesus, you told us, you tell us, come to me, all you who are weary and overburdened, and I will give you rest. You tell us in your scriptures, too, to come follow me. Throughout your life, Lord Jesus, and even now, you invite us to this relationship of grace. And we can say, like the songwriter said, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. What grace it is for us who are 
so wretched to be able to stand in your presence and not feel judged but feel welcomed what a beautiful grace that is oh God your grace that saved us your grace that welcomes us into deep deep relationship your grace that continually gives us a time to change your grace that instructs us and directs us and is patient with us your grace that continually welcomes the prodigal's home that looks for the lost sheep your grace that prepares a place for each and every one of us because in your father's house there are many rooms thank you for your grace that prepares that space for us come to me those who are weary come follow me we say yes Lord we say yes Lord to your amazing grace we say yes we say yes Lord to your amazing grace we say yes Let's continue to praise the Lord, sisters and brothers, to worship God. Let's make a column of praise and worship to the Lord. And we invite you, those of you who join us through the media, whatever is in your heart tonight, whatever is troubling you, whatever makes you feel anxious or fearful about the future maybe or the situation, whatever has you grieving and paining and suffering tonight, Bring into this column of praise and worship to the Lord. As we lead you in this time of praise, this hour of power, so that you may be set free, set free to experience the presence of the Lord Jesus in your life, to encounter the Lord. Let him set you free, sisters and brothers. Open your hands, open your heart in praise and worship to this God and let it go. Let all go up into the heavens. There's power in praise. As the people of God praise the Lord, the praises ascend into the heavens. And the grace flows, that amazing grace will flow into your heart. Sister, brother, open your heart. Open your heart to your God who loves you. Your God who is there with you. Your God who sees your pain. Your God who wants to set you free. Your God who wants to encounter you and you encounter him in a oneness, in a holiness, in a, a blessed union. Oh, your God who is there with you. Let him set you free tonight as you worship, as you praise, as you give God glory. And as you lift your hands, lift up the problems and anxieties and fears that you have. Lift them up to the King and know that his blessings will fall upon you as you encounter his presence. All those who are here in this land of Trinidad and Tobago, through the Caribbean, through the Americas, and all over the world joining us, let's praise the Lord, let the praises go up to the King this night. For we are sure that as the praises go up, His grace will fall. His mercy will fall, his strength and courage. Oh yes, Lord, look at your people praise you tonight. Look at your people all over the world, Lord. In this upper room, in this country, all through the Caribbean and all over our world, Lord. Look at your people in the Americas. Lifting up praise to you, oh God, a loving God. A wonderful God who sees us and loves us. Oh, your love is everlasting, oh God. Pour out that grace upon your people this night, upon our world, oh Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, as we... 
reach out to you this night, O oh Lord. And as you pour out your grace, we thank you. Yes, Lord, be glorified by your people. Be glorified, O oh God, by your people praising you this night. praising you this night, Lord. Be glorified in this upper room, O oh God. Be glorified in the homes of our sisters and brothers. Join us tonight, O oh Lord. Be glorified in the Americas. Be glorified in oh the world tonight as your people praise you, Lord. In the midst of all the challenges, we praise you, O oh God. And be you glorified in thee. Lord. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified, O oh Lord. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. This God lives in us, sisters and brothers, dwells deep within us. Oh, just receive that grace and that touch of His Spirit. Father, Son, and Spirit moving in our hearts tonight as we praise and magnify His name. Just get in touch with our great God, this loving God, who we glorify here tonight, and who you glorify wherever you are. 
He wants to touch your heart. He wants to bring His love, His healing presence to you. He wants you to know that in the finest detail of your life, He is there with you. He wants you to know that if it was you alone, He would have still died on the cross. That's how much He loves you. No matter what you experience or what your, your feelings are, your sin is, God loves you unconditionally. And as you glorify him tonight, sister and brother, receive, receive his loving and healing presence in your life. Come, Lord, to your people. Come, Lord, to your people, O oh God. at the beginning one with God the Lord most high your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you oh Christ what a beautiful name it is what a beautiful name heaven down. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. My sin was great, your love was greater. Who could separate us now? One could separate us now. Wonderful name. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. What a wonderful name.
Jesus. All that God has to offer you, receive it. For He is good, for He is great, for He is everything that you need. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and everything in between. Great is our God, great is His might. His wisdom can never be measured. Trust Him tonight and trust Him at all times to come to you to supply your every need. Oh, Good Shepherd, Jesus, indeed you lead us to streams of living water. Indeed you prepare a banquet of fine food. You have everything that we could ever want, everything that we could ever need in you, Jesus in your love. The answer to every question, the solution to every problem, so great is your love. Jesus, Jesus, we want your name to be upon our lips, within our hearts, to rise up from our very beings. When people see us, we want them to see you, Jesus, and so clothe us in your love. Put on that garment of salvation over us, that we may live as you call us to live and be your presence of love to others who are yet to know you and the power of your love, the power to do all things. You do all things well, and so we praise you. You are love, and so we glorify you, rejoicing in your loving presence, in your faithful love. Thank you, Jesus.
ears, my eyes pierce through your very being to fill up the space within the temple of your body. And I say to you, these eyes I anoint tonight so that these eyes may be the reflection of my eyes to everyone that you meet. I say to you that your hands will become my hands and I have given you the grace to receive that which I offer to you this night. This very feet, these very feet that you move around with are the, my feet that I shall lead you on where, where to go. Behold, my beloved, it is great delight that I experience as I watch upon you. And because of that, I have come amongst you this very night so that the power and the reflection of my pre presence be upon you wherever you go, whatever you do. You are my hands and my feet. You are the very heart of your God. You are the one that I have called, each one of you special and unique. Wherever you are, whatever part of the world, receive the blessing and the grace and the gift that I give you tonight. Because this gift I have given to you is a gift not for you to hold to yourself. Because my heart comes in union with yours, in the unity of my Trinity, and I say to you, your heart shall be a heart of compassion, a heart of love, and a heart of newness. And behold, my beloved, if you are open and receive that gift which I have given to you, you shall become the, the lights of the world so that everywhere you go, others may experience the power and the gift and the anointing that I have placed upon you. I touch your eyes. I touch your lips that you may speak. I touch your hands that you may anoint and bless and heal. I touch your feet that you may go where need, you go where I lead you. And I most of all, I impress my heart upon your heart so that you shall move amongst your people with the heart of your God. If you receive this anointing, my people, great and wonderful things will come about and a whole journey of conversion will touch those that you may have never thought that you could touch because it is not you but it is I who live in you praise you Lord Jesus praise you Lord God we praise you, we thank you Lord we bless you O oh God Lord indeed let that anointing be upon us tonight O oh God, sisters and brothers open your heart for that anointing that the Lord has sent in the, his word tonight, that anointing on your eyes and on your lips, on your ears, on your heart, on your feet, on your hands, that we may be another Christ in the world, anointing, Holy Spirit, that your anointing, the anointing of God, fall upon his people tonight. Praise you, Lord God. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord God. Come, Holy Spirit. Anointing. Anointing And open your heart, sisters and brothers, your hands. That anointing, let the Lord pour out upon you tonight. Do you say yes to that anointing? If you do, just open your heart for that anointing tonight. The anointing of your eyes and your lips, your hands, your feet and your heart. Oh Lord, let that anointing be upon your people, oh God. Anointing. Fall on us. Fall on oh, on each and every one of us, oh Lord. Anointing. Oh yes, Lord, let your anointing fall upon your people tonight. Let the power of the Holy Spirit. As we are anointed by the power of His Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Anointing. And let's sing that again and say to the Lord, anointing fall on me, because I receive that anointing tonight, Lord, that you pour upon you, me tonight. I receive that, Lord. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Spirit fall on me. Lift your hands and sing that again. Anointing. 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 Anoint
hands and praise to this God who has anointed you tonight, sisters and brothers, and those of you who join us through the media. Lift your hands in praise and worship to this God in the beautiful gift of tongues or in your own words. Oh, give in praise and worship to God who is your King who has anointed us tonight with his very presence and anointed our hands, our eyes, our tongues, our feet, our hearts with his presence. Come, O Lord, anoint your people, O God. We say yes to you, Lord. We say yes to your anointing, O God. Oh, yes, Lord, let your spirit move in the hearts of your people this night. Let your spirit move in the families and join us through the media, O oh, Spirit of God. Let your word fill our hearts this night, O oh God, and convert us, O oh Lord, that we may be indeed another Christ in this world of darkness, so in need of you, Lord, so in need of you, O oh God. Worship you, O oh God. To worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Oh, my soul. My soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King. Take joy, my King. Live in what you worship you this night, our King. We worship you every fiber. with every fiber with all our hearts, O oh Lord. With all our hearts. With great desire, Lord. With great desire we worship you, worship you, Lord. Your people thank you, O God. Your people rejoice in your presence tonight, Lord. Your people rejoice in this hour of power with you, O Holy Spirit of God. Your people rejoice and thank you. We are grateful, Lord, that you have called us here. We are grateful, Lord, that we have given us the, the privilege of joining through the media, Lord. We are grateful, O oh God, for this hour of grace that you have bestowed upon your people. For your Holy Spirit, we thank you for moving amongst us and for giving us words to praise our King. For you, Father, we thank you for anointing us, anointing us, and thank you, Jesus. The wonderful name of Jesus, the powerful name of Jesus for moving in our midst and in our hearts and in our lives and in our families this night. I we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. We praise you, Lord. We glorify you. We thank you for this beautiful Wednesday night, O God. Another beautiful Wednesday night. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, O God, and bless your name. And we thank you, Holy Mother of God, for we know that you have been here with us this night. And Holy Mother, we just offer to you our families, our hearts this night. We offer to you, O Holy Mother, all, all who join us, each and every one, from all over the world, O Blessed Mother. We offer you God's holy people this night. Pray for us. 
that we may take that anointing that is upon us tonight and we may become that other Christ in the world with compassionate and loving hearts. Hail Mary, Hail full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among, among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. And let's see our world, sisters and brothers, and let's join hands in our minds. We can't do it physically, but those of you at home can. But all over the world, let's see this whole world, the family of God, God's holy family, all across the world tonight. Let's see each and every one linking hands as we pray that beautiful prayer that Jesus has taught us to our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. <laughs> Praise the Lord for the hour Whoa. of power. Praise, Praise God. We praise God for the hour of power. Amen. Amen. We'll be back next week with another hour of power. Praise the Lord. And don't forget, you have been anointed by the Lord to go out and to be another Christ in the world tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise God. How lovely on the mountains. How lovely are the mountains on the feet of Praise good news. Praise good news.